All right, you clicked on this video to get some answers quickly and we're gonna give it to you quickly. First, we start with the panel. Next, you're gonna have the wire coming from the panel that goes to your boxes, essentially. This is a very simple diagram of what's going on. Usually it's Romex. This is illustrated here with the yellow sheath and the conductors inside. This is 12-2 Romex. Now, there's nothing basic about a three-way switch. Even professionals can get this wrong, so now you're going to see a couple of more things on the screen. Don't be alarmed. I'm going to explain it very easily. This is 12-3 Romex. You'll notice that it has an extra conductor being the red. The blue outlines are going to represent the electrical boxes, and we're just going to draw from point to point and just give you what you need to know. Now, you don't have to use 12-3. You can use two sets of 12-2, but this is the simplest way to show you in a diagram. The two screws on your switch that are not black are called your travelers. You're simply going to connect them to each other with the black and red of your 12-3. The neutrals do not connect to any portion of the switch. They just go inside the box, connect to each other, and continue the neutral path from box to box until it gets to the light. They are shown in light blue right here. The final step here is to connect your black screws. One of your black screws goes to the source of the panel or the constant hot and the other black screw goes to your load. In this case, it's the light. It's that simple. So we refer our constant hots as something that's not switched. So before the switch, you would have a constant hot. After your switch, you would have what you call the switch leg. Just remember the black screws. One of them goes to the constant hot or the power or the original power source that's not switched and the other black screw goes to your load. Pretty simple. The grounds are not shown for simplicity here, but you would attach your bare wires and all your grounds together on the grounding screws, any metal boxes, things like that. Thanks for watching. If you need other explanations of electrical wiring, let me know.